when we drive a car or a bike on a road, we have lots of road signs and signals at our disposal, both in the city and on the highway. But what about ships? How do they identify their path and if it is safe to travel or not? Ships, like cars and bikes on road, rely on sea markings for safe navigation. Sea marks are physical indicators used as navigational aids and references for various purposes. They serve as guides, mark hazardous areas, indicate high maritime traffic zones, and identify safe and navigable areas. Sea marks can be categorized as fixed or floating structures. Fixed structures are either attached to the seabed or landmass near the water. Lighthouses are a classic example of fixed sea marks. They convey the presence of a coast to seafarers and help them in tracking maritime traffic. They can range from small structures marking specific points to large ones equipped with lighting, radio signals or sonic signals for defense or safeguarding coastal facilities. Floating structures are usually buoys that remain tethered or anchored in specific locations. They guide vessels near coasts or ports, demarcate unnavigable zones, or act as separators in busy areas of maritime traffic. Sea marks can have different features, such as lighting, acoustic signals, specialized features like radio signals, or no significant features at all. Lighting features include beacons, floodlights, fog lamps, and flashers. These are commonly used for visual detection. Some sea marks are equipped with audio signals, such as fog horns, to be detected based on sound. Modern sea marks may also incorporate advanced technologies like radio transmission and satellite communication. Others, known as day marks, are visually detectable during the daytime but lack illumination for nighttime visibility. IALA or the International Association of Lighthouse Authorities governs the regulations and guidelines for the design, usage and operation of sea marks. These regulations are applied regionally, with Region A covering most of the world and Region B including North and South America, Japan, Korea and the Philippines. Among the various types of sea marks, safe water marks play a crucial role in indicating navigable waters. They mark fairways, mid-channels, end of channels, and landfall. Fairways denote entrance or approach paths. Mid-channels represent unhindered waterway thoroughfares. End of channel marks the termination of navigable routes and landfall marks indicate the presence of nearby landmasses. Safe water marks are typically color-coded in red and white. They can be spherical for buoys or tapering pillar-like for both floating and fixed structures. These marks are distinguished by a red ball-like sphere at the top. During the night, safe water marks emit long flashes at intervals of 10 seconds. In underpass waterways beneath bridges, safe water marks are used to indicate the safe passage for vessels with specific maximum height requirements. Sea markings are indispensable for the safety of ships and navigators. They provide vital information, guide vessels, and help prevent accidents in the maritime environment. By understanding and adhering to these markings, seafarers can navigate waters with confidence and avoid potential risks. We hope you have learned something new today. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. See you in the next video.